My name's Elizabeth Miller, and I used to be the environment reporter for WCPN Idea Stream, Cleveland's NPR PBS affiliate, uh, covering the Great Lakes for Great Lakes Today as part of that, and I was here for the last three or so years. I'm gonna miss the people that I spoke to as a, as a reporter. I'm gonna miss my colleagues. I'm going to miss the food and all the starch, all the starchy foods. I hope that they have pierogies in, in Oregon. Um, but I'll also miss the uh, Cleveland's, Cleveland's history and I'll miss watching Cleveland change um, and idea stream change. Um, there's, there's a lot on the horizon with the city, with with my workplace and so I'm very excited to see what happens and it's going to be sad to not be a part of that but I'm also really excited to watch it kind of as an outsider and and say hey I used to live there hey I used to work there I think there's a couple things um, I think something that that I have been shocked to learn is how much work the city is doing um, in certain in certain avenues. I, I really enjoyed going to these climate workshops that the city was hosting with a group like uh, Cleveland Neighborhood Progress and actually getting out into the community but I don't think that people knew about that and of course that's that's the media's job to raise awareness and all everything but it's also the city's job to be promoters for itself and, and highlight what's doing what they're doing well. I think that goes to my second point, which is communicate with your reporters. If if there's no communication between the city and, and the media, there's a whole part of a story, there's a whole part of there's a whole part of that story that gets lost and that's missing and that people do not will never know about because there wasn't that communication. So you need a city that communicates with its with its media in good times and in bad times. I love um, all of the great concert venues in Cleveland. I'll miss the Beachland. I hope there's one of those in, in Portland and the Grog Shop. I'll miss Tommy's. Tommy's on Coventry. Um, sorry, it's all food. <laughs> but, but I'll also miss, you know, just enjoying Cleveland's, Cleveland's resources, enjoying the Metro Parks. I wish I, used, I wish I used them more, but I'll also enjoy the great beer that Cleveland has to offer. I mean, Cleveland's a great city with, with a really rich history um, and a lot to learn about. Um, but it's also got a lot changing about it, and it's, it's just a really good story. I'm not, I don't know how to answer this. Okay. Cleveland is nice. I like that place, and I'm going to miss it, even when it snows like this. Uh, they need to hear the, the real story. They need to hear the true story of what happened. I, I think people outside of Cleveland can also use something you're really good at, Jim, which is pictures and visuals to show that the river is not what it was 50 years ago. And it looks different, it smells different, um, it, it's used differently, and I think that's such a great story that also has some conflict in it and some tension between the whole recreation versus, you know, this is still a, a shipping channel, and I mean, those last few miles are still a shipping channel, so what, what kind of challenges do you still have there? And also, it's, yeah, sure, it's been 50 years, it's cleaner and everything, but it's still got a long way to go, so I'd love to hear more about what, what, else, what else needs to happen for the river to really thrive and get taken off of that areas of concern list. There's something that I've always wanted to do a story on. It's just like the access to the to the waterfront. Who's being able? Who's who? How do people access the water? The the lake? Is it? Is, do you have to drive to get there? Are there public transportation routes that you could take? Is it walkable? Is it bikeable? Um, and I think that's something that that Cleveland is doing well. And I'm I'm excited to see some of the trails kind of get finished someday. Um, but I think that's something that Cleveland is on its way to doing really well.